10 years and 178 projects, but only a few we can mention. Fortunately, only about 34 of them that we can actually talk about. A lot of that we, what we do is confidential. Now, what do you do exactly? Because there's all these labs, all there's a lot of stuff going on. Right. What is going on here? Great question. So we are a service-based engineering and contract manufacturing company. So we help people design, develop, and manufacture products and equipment on their behalf. DNK Engineering employs about 150 top engineers at their headquarters and over 450 across the globe who figure out how to develop, manufacture, and sell pretty advanced products for high-profile clients. Typically complex, as you see, complex yes, electromechanical stuff. Okay, yeah. But we have the opportunity to do that in a variety of markets. For instance, uh, the life sciences market, mm -hmm. the military market, printing, commercial, industrial, and a renewable energy space as well. Alex met his co-founder Scott in graduate school at Stanford in the early 90s. They eventually ended up at Hewlett Packard together and were encouraged by a fellow grad student to start their own company. In 1999, we decided to start the company, just the, just the two of us, and we started growing it from there. And you're completely funded. We are completely no funded. Funding. No VC funding, no, no anything like that. We started from the ground up. We bootstrapped our way through this whole thing, for, for better or for worse. You graduate from Stanford, you're starting this company out. Did you know it would always be, or that it was going to be made to be, a problem-solving, service-oriented, highly technical company? Because saying, you know what, I think I'm just going to make a company that solves everyone's this problems. Solves it right out this of the gate. This is going to be great. This is going to be great. It's exactly it's what we're going to do. Right? That's daunting a little bit. It is daunting. Um, and actually, in, in, in to, to be honest, you know, when, when Scott and I decided to get started, uh -huh. we weren't exactly quite sure what it is that we wanted mm -hmm. to do. We had some ideas. We know we wanted to start a great company. We know okay. we enjoyed working with each other. We know we wanted to create a place where, where, where excellent people could really, could really grow and really enjoy themselves in the uh -huh. technical space. To a great extent, I hope that we've achieved that. Despite the dozens of complex projects DNK Engineering works on, the growth of the company has been simple. It's been built the old-fashioned way, to be kind of honest. Really? Uh, you know, one, one client at a time. And each diverse project. This is for a huge post that comes out of a destroyer. This is our machine shop. Has been built one client at a time. A lot of times, to be honest, we may start small. And we're okay starting small yes. with, uh, because trust is not earned overnight. Exactly. Uh, there has to be existence proof. And a lot of our clients say, well, let's try this out. Let's try this out and see how it goes. Mm -hmm. And uh, typically, we're able to do fairly well. And then from there, the relationship really grows. And uh, that's how a lot of our business has evolved over the last Got decade it. or so. Is there ever a project that you go, you know what, I don't think we can help you with that one. Let me tell you someone who could. I mean, does that happen? Absolutely. So sometimes they come to us early. Sometimes um, our employees actually tell us that we have a good ability of telling truth to power. And what that means is oh. we do tell somebody sometimes that, you know what, this isn't going to work. We've had people, we've had people come to us and say, you know what, it really doesn't work. We have experience in this and let me tell you why. And wow. you know what, it's not what they want to hear, but we feel that we're you know, life's short and you, we want to give people good advice and hopefully they can tweak their ideas or uh -huh. just, it's our opinion. But if we think something's really not going to work out, we'll let people know because product development, it's hard, it's expensive, and I'd rather see those resources be put to better use than, than what we think is going to be a failed product development exactly. endeavor. Despite their success, Alex and Scott are still on a mission to attract the best engineers the world over while making a big impact. Sometimes people ask me, it's like, well, why, why are you growing? Why don't you just, you know, be? be? Why yeah. don't you got, you got a building, you got, you've got a stable business, why don't you just be? Yeah. Well, it's really about what you want to do with a company. I mean, we, we're trying to build a great, enduring company that's larger than ourselves, um, that has an opportunity to bring on fantastic talent, you know, really from everywhere. You know, creating creating products that are making people more efficient uh, and, and hopefully making them from that standpoint is 
being able to work on projects that, that are meaningful and substantive. And that's about the growth and that's about you know having the extended capabilities, whether it be in life sciences where you actually can get into products that are changing people's lives. When you're working in renewable energy, uh, where you're working on solar projects or desalination projects, or mm -hmm. you, you feel in a small way that you're solving some of the larger problems that, yeah. that, we're, that we're getting involved in. For DNK Engineering, two grad students and their team of engineers are just getting started. Mm -hmm. we, they feel like we're going somewhere. We're, we're building something, and, and hopefully down the road be something that we can turn around and be really proud of.